I put the F in fun. <laughs>Lost in the Midlands podcast sponsored by Midlands Dumpster Services and Seawright Roofing. And today I have the privilege to be here with the man. He's a musician, he's a BNI networker and leader. He's an entrepreneur, Ray Ingram, aka DJ Stingray. Thanks for hanging out, man. Man, thanks for being here, man. <laughs> yeah. So that quote that we just read, uh -huh. you you say that at your shows? Every time. <laughs> At BNI meetings everywhere, man. I want people to know I put the F in fun. Like, I really want you to know it. I mean, as an entertainer, you got to start with some energy, right? You Absolutely. You got to up the level of the crowd immediately. Absolutely. <laughs> got to, man. Got Heck to. Yeah. Well, I am excited to talk about the things you got going on. I know you've got an awesome uh, an awesome gig. But before we talk about that, let's hear about your beginnings. Like, what got you to this point? Man, that's a great question. So, at my previous job... Uh, I had a guy there. Uh, he was doing some stuff with DJing. Cool. And he's been pretty known for it. So I was like, okay, well, let me reach out to him. So I ended up having the pleasure of working with him. Yeah. And he was telling me about it. So I ended up buying a set from him. So I just got it. And it was a verse, very first set. It was an itch controller. And huh. I got it. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I spent $1,000. <laughs> so I was like, okay, here we go. I got it. Start playing with it. And then for about a good seven months, it sat in the closet. Yeah. And then I pulled it out. I was like, all right, come on. Like, Ray, like, get it together. You didn't spend $1,000. Yeah. So I start playing with it. And the more I play with it, I realized, I said, oh, my God, I love this. Up until my first gig uh, at a local bar here, it was on New Year's Eve. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So were you, like, kind of a music guy, but like, from the go? Well, Have you always been? For the most part. So I'm a, as I like to say, I'm a PK kid. So my dad is a pastor. So me growing up, I played the drums. Okay, so cool. I love music, man. I love instruments. Love so being in front of the whole church playing the drums, this you know, this is just all this more the same. Yeah. A little <laughs> okay. different, a little, little, a little bit of a, a twist. A little different alcohol but, and stuff, probably. <laughs> I mean, mm, sorry, pops, but uh, yeah, but yeah. uh, but yeah, I got my first gig uh, New Year's Eve uh, at a local bar here. No pressure. <laughs> oh, it was there, and I just I was talking to everybody about it, and they said, "Hey, uh, well, why don't you come?" And I was like, "Sure," yep. and they called my bluff, and I said, "Okay," and I got there, and I was like. Holy tamole, like, I don't know what I'm doing. So I, I didn't know how to set up. So the guy that gave me this stuff, I'm calling him on New Year's. I'm like, hey, how do I do this? And he's probably like, dude, like, I'm trying to have the dinner with my family right now. Yeah. But we figured it out. I got through it. And, man, ever since that night, I was just like, oh, yeah, I love this. And I was hooked ever since. Hurdle number one. Now, imagine had that, like, been a total nightmare, you probably still would have just kept doing it, right? I probably, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. the amount of recognition I got at the end, man, everybody was like, oh, my God, DJ, you did great. It was fantastic. Yeah. You were phenomenal. And I'm just like, yeah, yes, I am. So they kind of put the battery in my back a little bit on it, kind of juiced me up. So I, I, I can't even imagine, like, do I just don't even know how you were able to just like, all right, we're just going to throw this equipment together and I'm going to run this whole party. I mean, you did you have an idea of, like, here's the music that we're going to play. Here's what's going on. So the first one, I had no idea, man. <laughs> Spotify was my best friend. Okay. So I went on Spotify and YouTube, and I just kind of looked at, you know, some playlists. And I was like, okay, let's see. So I did. I took a lot of requests, too. Okay. So within my first year, I just took nothing but requests. Yeah. And I was able to learn how to read the crowd yeah. and, and impact the crowd just through music. And if I can get a little head nod from each person in the room, I'm like, done. I'm doing something right. So, Yeah. This is Wright Brennan, the owner of Sea Wright Roofing. When it comes to the maintenance of your roof, you want to know that you have an experienced team that knows what they're doing. And with 10 years in the business, we check all the boxes. Leaky roof, storm damage, or just overdue on maintenance, give us a call at 803-828-4181 for a free estimate. Again, that's 803-828-4181. And remember, our commitment is to roof it the right way. Uh, it's so interesting. Oh, yeah. Um, and at this point, you probably have some better equipment. I mean, how has it grown oh, since party number one? Yeah, man. Now I have about six or seven speakers now. Yeah. Uh, I have a control now. It's a Rain One. It's probably my favorite toy. It's yeah. It's a very expensive toy. Uh, but I could do so many tricks and gadgets on it. It's so many gadgets on that thing, and I just love it. Well, so what is the um, what's the schedule like? Is this, uh, you, I mean, you're working nights and weekends. 
I was a bartender for a little while, so like I feel like Ooh, I'm. You so know, you know how that goes, huh? Sort of. Yes. <laughs> Not so, really, but. So yeah, schedule man is 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 pretty booked. Uh, I try to put my schedule out every Monday. Okay. Um, so I have a Tuesday through Thursday gig set. So every Tuesday I'm somewhere. Every Wednesday I'm somewhere. Every Thursday I'm somewhere. And then Fridays and Saturdays I kind of leave that open, which I'm still booked. Yeah. But I do like those special events. So if somebody wants a wedding. Um, a private party, stuff like that. That's usually what the Fridays and Saturdays are for. And then obviously Sundays is available too. So Yeah. So you are staying you are staying booked out. What type of events are you doing? Man, I'm doing it all. So obviously I'm coming to the end uh, of wedding season. Yeah. So I had a lot of weddings. Uh I had a lot of private parties. Yeah. And man, DJing a wedding, it is so awesome. <laughs> I just love the energy. I'm just like yeah. ready to just hit a backflip. Like oh, it's yeah. just awesome. And then going into December now, I have a lot of Christmas parties. So those are private events. So I'm pretty excited about that as well. So Some birthday parties? Yeah, actually, yeah. I actually did a kids dance about uh, three weeks ago. It was for elementary school. And man, let me tell you, kids know how to party. <laughs> yeah. Like, ele- oh man, they will keep you on your toes. So That's awesome. We do it all. All right, tell me a little bit about your uh, BNI journey. So you, you you have entered this networking ring. And I know that you have a leadership position in it too. So tell me how it's impacted you. Yeah. Oh man. So I joined B and I was uh, last year. Uh, God got me, and I was in another chapter at the moment. And got in. I just seen how everybody passed business. I see yeah. how everybody gets recognized, and I just see a network of people and everybody just collaborating and working yeah. together. And I was just like, I like this. I like. I truly like this. And I looked at it and I said, Hey, how can this benefit DJ Stingray Eight Hundred Three? And it has. It has opened up a network of people now, man, that I can't even imagine. Never in my life would imagine, man, just talking to CEOs and all these <laughs> business owners. And I'm just like, little old me, a little boy from Sumter, <laughs> South Carolina. Sumter, nice. Talking to, like, these hot, like, it's just smile-blowing. It's mind-blowing. But it just opened up so many doors and just the network and meeting just so many people, man. It's just, yeah, I'm still speechless to this day, man. Well, you've got a presence about you. I can tell that you do pretty well at the front of the room, you know, guiding the whole party. And it sounds like you kind of do that at BNI a little bit too. You pretty yeah, much I'm, run the show. Yeah. So obviously, I'm in uh, Social Coffee Squad. So we meet on Fridays at nine thirty. Cool. And uh, we like to, I like to say, I put the F in fun. So you know, I try to bring some music to it. Uh, we try to have some recognition. Obviously, you know, we do, and then try to give everybody their own specific theme music is what we're working on now. So if this individual wins something, I want to be able to have it to where their song plays every time. Oh, dang. That is and they legit. come down like a little runway and we're doing some high five. And so just trying to put a little smidget of the DJ life into the BNI world. So. Yeah. Dang, this is, there's some good energy in there. I got. I need to come visit, man. You got to, man. You got to, <laughs> I'm man. I'm coming now. Um, awesome. What's, what's coming up? Uh, in the pipeline, like what what direction are you trying to go? I know we got the holidays, you got holiday parties, but as far as the business goes, like, are you looking at getting some new equipment? Kind of how do you want to grow from here? Yeah, man. So actually starting next month, uh, I'm going to have a photo booth. So that Good. is going to take me hopefully to another level. So I always, I always try to figure out what can I do to enhance DJ Stingray 803. Yeah. Like what can I do? And I went and invested in this photo booth, and I'll be happy to say hopefully starting next month, if everything works out. You got to test everything out, right? Yeah. Um, I will be able to offer that, and that, I hope, will carry me a long way because everybody loves a good photo booth, right? <laughs> everybody loves to stand on some type of platform and yeah. a spotlight. Like, Well, not everybody, but... Me as a DJ, like it's my job. Like I gotta put the F in fun, man. I gotta do it. So people are gonna love that photo booth. I can tell it's gonna it's gonna hey, be hot. Hey, I, I like to say you get the energy and the personality too. So rock and roll. How far away do you go? Like, what's your radius? Ooh, let's see. I've done. I'm trying to think the furthest. Uh, the furthest I've went that I can think of off the top of my head is Jacksonville, Florida. Oh wow, man! I did a wedding there. Uh, it was a Young lady I used to work with at my previous job. I had the pleasure of doing her wedding. That was awesome. Yeah. I've done one in North Carolina. We North Carolina, Weaverville. Never heard of it. Weaverville. It is mountains, mountains on top of mountains. But it was pretty awesome. Yeah, cool. Um, so I did those two. Those are the first two that pop off at me at the moment. So. Yeah, so you, you'll travel. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you'll go around the state of South Carolina, obviously. And further if I have to. Man. And absolutely. further. Absolutely. That is cool. Do you ever go back to Sumter and do any and do any parties down there with some of your old friends? Believe it or not, no. 
<laughs> nope. I mean, believe it or not, no. I would love to. They probably uh, come here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Sumter is a military town, so yeah. obviously that's where my family is. Most of my family, well, we kind of spread out now, so. But everybody comes to Columbia. They're like, hey, cuz, or hey, where you at? I'm at this place. All right, we coming to Columbia to see you. All right. And that's kind of what happens. Tell me a little bit about like the music you're playing. Like what's really getting the Oof. crowd? I guess it depends on the crowd and stuff, but there's got to be some like really just, you know, we play this song, everybody's going nuts. What's, hey, what's hot right now, I guess. <laughs> okay. Believe it or not. And you have to tell me any secrets, you know, just give yeah. me a little taste. Uh, 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 all right. So if I am doing a party, let's say if it's a wedding. Yeah. Uh, some of the big ones at weddings is Shania Twain. Man, I feel like a woman. Oh, okay. uh, that's a big one. <laughs> Usher. Usher uh, yeah, see. that's a big one. Bruno Mars, uh, uh, 24 Karat Mar- Magic. Uh, that's a big one. Yep. So it's just uh, Carolina Girls. Yeah. Uh, you name it, man. But if you say one song that everybody kind of forgets where they are, yeah. and they just kind of like let their hair down and just go insane in a good way, I would have to probably say No Hands by Roscoe what? Dash. Waka? Waka. <laughs> <Is> that... <laughs> well, Waka, I should say. But yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And that's the one that just man. everybody goes crazy. <laughs> <sighs> Bro, listen, you have no idea, man. It just, it's like when it comes on, everybody just like, oh, like they just stop Heck and turn yeah. around and kind of look a little bit and yeah. then just let loose. And it lights up. Oh, it's oh, yeah. beautiful. Awesome. Well, where can we find you? If we want to book a show, like we're ready to go. Hey, man, so you can definitely reach out to me on my website, which is djstingray803.com, yep. or you can reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram, which is djstingray803.com. So usually that's my go-to spot. Yep. I do have a business number as well, which is on my website as well, 803-361-3662. So. Heck yeah, man. Well, I've been real excited about you coming on, and now i got to come to you know, see the party. <laughs> you got to, man. You <laughs> I'm got pretty to. fired up. So, again, Absolutely. hey, thanks for coming on today. And I appreciate you guys for having me. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Hey, everyone. Many thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, give us a follow and click the bell to stay up to date on future episodes or click the link to watch another previous episode. Also, don't forget to like, share, and please leave us a comment. We'd love to hear your feedback.